What's going on everybody? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your Bluehost email account. Now, if you don't have a Bluehost plan, then you can use the links in the description to get yourselves the best possible deals right now. Particularly when it comes to emails, you get a free pro email account with Bluehost. So yeah, it's worth checking out. Now, to actually make your email account, you got to of course log into your Bluehost account and then we make our way down to hosting. And from hosting, we're gonna scroll a little bit just further down the page and click on cPanel email. And just make sure that email accounts is selected and then go over here to continue. So when we get to the next page, you'll see this create button, which we'll click. And for the domain, when you've made your website, you can just point your domain to your email account through here. So we'll just select any random domain. Down here is the username for your email. So we're just gonna call this tutorial, tutorial testing at that domain name. Now underneath here, you just make a really good password. And for your optional settings, you have a couple of, well, two options really. So basically the storage space. So this is the amount of storage space that your plan allows. If you try to go over, it'll say, yeah, you can't do that, buddy. So it's only a hundred for my plan at least or below. And then for plus addressing, Basically, what plus addressing is it organizes your topics into different folders. So you'll get all of the emails into your main email. It'll just let you know, hey, this is an email for like support or this is an email for ads, stuff like that. OK, you can even do this for your own personal email address. For example, you have shopping emails or you have, I don't know, again, advertising, maybe something related to a different particular topic. I think you get it at this point. So you can either automatically create those folders or just tell it not to do so. Either way, once you've made your decision, go down to create and then you can save this information. I'll just save it for simplicity's sake. And then we're going to go to our email right here to log in by clicking check email. So from here, we just make sure that we agree to the terms and conditions. And then to open up your inbox, you go over here and click on open. And here you go. It doesn't look like much, but it's fully functional. So how about we actually make this work right now? So let's create an email. So we'll go to compose and then we will send an email to my Gmail account and we'll call it just test. And then we're going to send this real quick. So we're going to just make sure that everything is in order and then click on send. And oh yeah, we need a subject. We'll just call that test as well. And then we'll send that to my Gmail account. Now this email was sent to my spam because it's an unrecognized account, but nevertheless, we know it works. Once we click on it, then it lets you know that the email went through, which is great. And that just about wraps up today's video. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have any further questions for me, do not hesitate to leave them in the comment section down below. I'll get to you as soon as I can. And if you enjoyed the video, consider liking and subscribing to the channel. And don't forget about those deals and discounts in the description below to get yourselves the best possible deal on Bluehost. At any rate though, thank you all so much for watching as always. And until next time, make sure to take care.